Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'ra habati fi Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we kitab al-kareem wa a'tasmu bi habli Allahi jameen wa la tafarraku hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we kitab al-kareem وما خلقت الجن والإنس إلا ليعبدون. I have not created mankind in jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. Letting letting us know our divine purpose, the reason we're here, is to worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala alone. And if we keep that in mind, that ultimately your wasila or your means. And your your means of communication with Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is the prayer. Then we should focus on protecting our prayer and preserving our prayer. And when we look at all of the fitna and all the trials and tribulations and difficulties that we face as individuals, but the fitna for the Muslims. Uh, everywhere and humanity, in fact, everywhere. For example, if we look at the evil that's going on in Palestine, that now they have the the Israelis have an open hand at discriminating, usurping the land of the the Palestinians, and oppressing them, and tormenting them, and killing them. And removing them from their homes without impunity. Likewise, we see the oppression all around the world to Muslims and non-Muslims. What's going on with the Rohingya Muslims? Their oppression, their rape, their pillaging that is happening to their society, the ethnic cleansing, all of these evil affairs. And likewise, what's happening to our brothers and sisters in Yemen and Ahl Sunnah, the killing of scholars in Yemen. And in other parts of the world, and those issues can be overbearing upon the heart, because you think, "How can I help the people? What's going on in northern Syria? How can I help the people、uh, of Palestine? How can I help the people、uh, around the world?" And Ahlul Sunnah has an an answer, which most of the people don't want to accept, and it's really a difficult. Way, a difficult path, the path of the Salaf al Saleh, of teaching, studying, practicing, propagating true Islamic knowledge on how to practice and how to deal with these issues, is a steep path, because most people want shortcuts. They want to、uh, act upon the. To lift the oppression that they witness, they want to act. They want to be a part of something. But if you realize that by seeking knowledge and striving to please Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, you are a part of something, and you're a part of something greater. And if you can't rectify yourself, how can you rectify the affairs of others? And so, that's why it's imperative to establish that relationship with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And that comes through maintaining the prayer, as we mentioned, the salat. And there are so many fawaid, so many benefits of maintaining one's prayer if one prays properly, and if one prays in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with khushu, humility, and tukmatnina, and a, a comfort, and giving every act, every action of the prayer its right. And by doing the nawafil, the the extra prayers, that all of this, all of these are ways that we can save ourselves, and all of these are means for dealing with the fitna of the world. And it may not seem that way because many of the people, they feel that they need to be in action, they need to be a part of something. But if you think about it, Ahlul Sunnah is the only min, only provide the only minhaj and methodology that is a consistent methodology. That doesn't mean that at times different actions aren't obligatory or different means 
It doesn't mean we always seek talab al-ilm and we don't do other acts of ibadah. However, everything has its time and place. Everything has its conditions and rulings. And Ahl sunnah is the most vigilant in following those rulings. And when you see the way the major scholars deal with these issues and fitna, that can bring about comfort for you. That you see that they stay firm. Their positions don't change every minute. They're not having to make bayan and, and go around and say, Oh, I made a mistake here. I made a mistake there because I spoke too soon and I got involved in this fitna and I got involved in this issue. But rather they traversed. They keep in their ibadah. They study issues before they speak. And this is some of the characteristics of the Rabbaniyun. So... I hope that we can inspire one another and benefit one another and go forward together in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a manner that pleases Him in accordance with the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the sabila mu'mineen, the salaf al-saleh and again the habatif illah that comes with your prayer that comes with coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and rightfully worshiping him and establishing that means and never giving it up no matter what sins and what things befall you and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam